Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Falling. And this is the directorial debut of Viggo Mortensen, who also wrote the screenplay, composed the film with a simple yet emotive piano track, and obviously stars in the film as a gay man who is trying to help his father who is dealing with dementia try to find a new home in Los Angeles, moving away from the farm that he lives on, out in like this, being a masculine farmer, living that kind of life. And the film bounces back and forth between modern times, and you're having Viggo Mortensen's character, John, growing up under the control of his father, Willis, who is played by Lance Hendrickson, who Hendrickson has been in Aliens, he was Bishop, he was a great character actor, and in this film, he is a force. He is scary, he is intense. You, you're sitting there and it's set up so early on. There's a confrontation on an airplane because he doesn't remember where he is. He's so confrontational, he uses foul language, he is racist, he is prejudiced, he is homophobic, he is basically all the hateful things he could possibly be. And it sets it up so well at the beginning of this film to put you in a place where every time he's going to open his mouth, or maybe not even open his mouth, just look at somebody, you're afraid what's going to happen. And Mortensen directing this film is able to capture that energy and that works so well throughout the film. Mortensen in his role as John is very subdued and reserved trying to be the person of reason in every room but the little things show what's underneath. There's a facial twitch that he'll do, and there's one very powerful one later in the film while they've returned back to the the farm, and it's just the two of them, and he's trying to hold together, and he, there's just this flicker twitch in Mortensen's face that's showing the smile is not always there. These two come to verbal blows, heavy blows, late into this film, the climax, the emotional climax of this film, you see the two of them explode. And it makes sense for Henriksen because he has been this the whole film. And it makes so much sense for Mortensen because he's been building up, bottling up this tension, waiting for it to blow. And it works so well. The performances are fantastic. Vito Mortensen, nobody ever brings up Vigo Mortensen as like, this is one of the better, better actors out there. He has three Academy Award nominations to his name, playing all kinds of ethnicities. This film, he's playing a gay man. He just was nominated for Green Book, playing an Italian man, and as an Ita uh, playing an Italian American. As an Italian American, I believed it. At first, when I heard Vigo Mortensen of all people is playing an Italian American, I didn't even think about it once. He, he did a fantastic job. He really captured it. This film might be weaker in the script because I feel like a lot of what happens in this film over the course of an hour and 53 minutes is quite repetitive. It's the same kind of ideas reinforced over and over and over again. And it can get a little stale. And also certain scenes aren't... They're not perfect. They're messy. And, yes, what's going on in the story is messy, but how they're put together, um, there's one particular eating scene where Laura Lenny, who plays Viggo Mortensen's sister, comes into play with her children, and the acting for the children aren't the best. They're a little stiff and awkward, so it kind of takes you out of the scene. There's other scenes that feel like I've really seen this scene already earlier in the film. and But Viggo Mortensen does a really nice job of capturing a visual style. There's particular moments where there's some longer tracking shots. 
these longer takes. There's moments where they have these aggressive close-ups, especially on Henriksen when he's delusional and having these visions and cutting back and forth to things. Like he is having this argument in his son's kitchen and he sees his younger self there, not his son. And the camera cuts to this really close-up and you just feel all of the passion and feelings that Henriksen is displaying as an actor. And Mortensen is able to capture it in his film with the cinematography and how it's all framed. And it's very powerful. This film is not perfect. It can be a little bit slow at times and a little bit choppy at times and can be a little bit much at times. But that doesn't take away from the fact that this is an emotionally impactful and poignant film that takes you on a sad, sad, sad ride. And someone who spent years with someone dealing with dementia, this hits hard. And it's, it's tough to watch. And it's really tough to watch. Some of these scenes, I'm like, I want to turn it off. But it's doing its job so well. And I'm really impressed by what Mortensen's able to do with this. And fun little cameo. There's a doctor that does like a anal check on the father because he's afraid he's going to need to have some surgery done for potential colon cancer. And the doctor's David Cronenberg. And I'm like, that's Cronenberg. And it's a nice little touch of Mortensen casting him in this film after uh, Cronenberg gave Mortensen such a rebirth in those mid-2000s through you have like History of Violence in 2005 and then Eastern Promises and then Dangerous Method. Those later 2000s, that decade, the later part of that decade was Mortensen really doing some great things with Cronenberg and seeing him pop up in the film was a nice little touch. But I would vote, like, I would give Mortensen some awards consideration. I would definitely give Lance Henriksen some awards consideration. I would have picked him for Best Supporting Actor well over Jared Leto. But that's just me. And those are the Golden Globes and the SAG Awards, so they can choose who they want. But this film boasts fantastic performances and a inspired and well-meaning script that might not always click, but it is an emotional ride and you will feel things from start to finish. And in that way, Mortensen easily succeeds at creating this film in that way. But those are my thoughts on Falling. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.